This work kick legends, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to hold pads better for your training partner. <laughs> Welcome to Kick Legend, I'm happy to have a size yard for our fight here with JJ at Stockade Muay Thai in Kingston. Uh, pleasure, really a uh, person after my own heart in terms of his interest and focus on how to train well. Uh, so he's going to talk to us a little bit about his pad holding philosophy. Okay. Alright, so when you're holding pads, generally uh, things are going to follow each other like this, where you're going pad cross, right? Or hook cross. Um, or if I do something that's going to be uh, the same side, I'm going to go hook to the body, hook the top, and cross. Right? This is very easy pad work to do. But as things start to get more technical, you need to be able to use one hand to multi-pad. So hook to the body, cross, hook, cross, so that I can add that in. I jab, he slips, he hooks to the body, cross, hook, cross. But this right here, my, your ability as a pad holder is to pick this up and that up without them being able to trust you at the beginning, because in his mind, he doesn't know that I'm going to be there for that. So he has to know that. Right? So we talk about this. He jabs, he slips, he's in position, throws, there we go. And I'm going to tell him a number. Um, I don't like to tell somebody the number in a way that each number represents a certain punch, but just that the number represents the volume of punches he's going to throw. So if I make him jab and slip, he goes through, I say four. One, two, three, four, right? And he can go out. Anything after that four I throw is a pause. Right, so let's say I say to him, four. He comes in, he goes, one, two, three, four. And I hold this, there's a pause in the third one. And he should crush that fourth one. Because he set up the combo, one, two, three, four. Oh, right, and then we're on it. Same thing, I can do the same thing with the kick. Well, he's in the kick, I don't have that. He goes, four, three, step, boom. He has time to come out of there. Because your ability to just unleash punches like crazy is awesome, I guess. But if that pause and that change of rhythm and timing is abrupt or... Uh, non-continuous, you can change what they're doing or fool them. Because they're going to expect it to be coming out that great and then there's a pause and then something comes out. That last one is likely because they're going to look up and then you're going to send that. So you train that by giving them a number, right? It slips, I say four, one, two, three, four, uh, and it comes out. Well, it comes out. Well, boom, right? And it goes again. Right? It slips. Boom, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, right, good. It comes out. Right, uh huh? So every time. I say a number, that's his cue to throw that many things, I guess as fast as you can, but smooth and accurate um, and with good technique. Uh, if you're the paddle, the other thing you should be paying attention to is watching them so that every time he throws, as if his hands aren't coming back to his head or his elbows aren't coming back to his ribs, you should check those things. You should make them keep him honest anyway. He jabs and I come back over the top, so his hand's there. If my hand touches, I don't have to blast him, but if my hand touches his face, we're both in agreement that my hand was there before his. Yeah. <laughs> right? I love the way he puts that. We're both in agreement. That's perfect. Right? So you do the same thing on the cross. Boom. There we are. Right there. Don't even slip. Because you don't have time. Boom. There we go. Back out. Boom. Boom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. Right? Right? Oh, right. Uh huh. Exactly. Back up. Boom. Because he has to, as much as he's like, oh, I have to hit that pad. I have to hit that pad. He has to recognize when I'm attacking. The pad is right there. We go. Right in. And right? The other thing to pay attention to there is when you see me jab, you follow that. You don't let your space between me and you change. So when you jab, you follow that jab. On down the jab, ready? Ready? Yes, sir. Oh, that's it. Step with it. Oh, that. Like we're dancing. Right? And if I step to you on the jab, you go back. Uh huh, good. You step forward. Uh huh, you step forward. Oh, right. you step forward. Right? So the whole time you maintain that range. Right? If I move in on you, you pass me. Right? Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right. Uh huh. Exactly. Jab. Uh huh, jab. I move in, uh huh, there you go, good. Step it back to first, right? Boom, right, good, there it is. Right, you're, you're moving and then you're stepping. Right, so I come in, you move, all right, good. Now on the other side, you move, all right, uh huh, again you move, all right, come on in, all right, good, there you go, jab. Five, four, all right, all right, flip, boom, four, all right, all right, uh huh, good. That was awkward because you didn't step, so, right, so you go four, one, two, three, four, and you step. Bang! That's your angle. Right? So another thing is a person hitting the pads, no matter what I'm doing to him, he should try to finish his combination on this angle. So it forces his opponent to turn to him for that next shot. Because while I'm turning, he steps. While I'm turning, he's throwing. Boom, oh, right there. And he is a, a half beat or a full beat ahead of me. Um, so let's back up a little bit. So that's a... <laughs> a lot of ideas, right? Uh, let's back up to the whole 
holding two shots with the same name. Okay. Just flush that out a little bit. Okay. Maybe. So when you are doing this, like I was saying before, you you, know, you get used to this, where it's one, two, right? And this is your this is your timing. So you have to start to transfer that to this hand. And there's a trust that happens between the both of us because he is not confident of the fact that from here, that my hand is going to be there. And you have to be as well. So the, the idea when he's holding pads is that all the punches up top are to my chin. Right? And I'm padding to that spot. So we can be in agreement that he's here and that's right there. Right? Um, the danger is forgetting the combination as he's throwing it. Because I'll say four and I'll do this something. Boom, and then I have to because I forgot that it's happening. So you have to be consistent where you're going four, boom, boom, boom. See how I slide with you? Yes, right? Because when he does his first shot, in order for that to make sense, I gotta move. If I don't do that, he's gonna take that as an elbow. Oh, right? Because he's right in there. Bang, right? That's where we're gonna be. And I don't shouldn't have to tell him that. Like if we're doing pads and he does the hook and then the cross eight, he should go right there if he does the cross. Right? That that sucks. This is way too tight. Right? So when he does the hook and I move, there we go. I'm doing it the same. Right? In real time, he might take this and it might be here. I do it again. Boom. Right to the elbow, right? Right? Right. There it is. Do it again. Oh, nice. Huh? That's beautiful. And then come back with your left elbow. Hook to the body. Elbow, elbow, elbow. There we go, right? Because I stayed. I didn't tell him to do anything different. He has to pick that on range. Right? If I move, he comes in. One, two, three, four. Right? This movement is something that you can sort of practice. Right? One, two, one, two, one, two. Right? The same thing with the hook low kick. One, two. Right? Another part where he has to trust that I'm going to be there. Right? And I have to remember to do this. I can say it and forget all the time. Right? So I go, oh, 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 oh. yeah, he goes fast as one. Get beat. Oh, 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 faster. Come on. Oh, 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 get faster. Oh, 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 faster. Oh, 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 right? There's no way they're going to beat you. Right? And you can do three in the low kick, or, or two, right? Oh, 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 faster. Oh, 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 faster. Oh, 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 right? Every single time. And they're not going to miss. Uh, thing to know, when you do hold it, knuckles are in front of your thigh, and not on your thigh, because you will get a dead leg. Um, <laughs> but that is, that is pad holding dexterity in terms of, as you get better, because at the beginning, most people are walking like this. And the other person's just doing this. But you're controlling. I don't want to... I don't want to talk to him and tell him. I want to just be like this. This is Pat. Uh -huh. uh, the one that comes up first is the one that you hit first. Uh, if I want more than two, I say three. Right, there's a pause. Right, there you go. Ah, uh, four. Ah, uh, right, uh -huh. right, there you go. Ah, uh, slip. Boom, four. One, two, three, four. Right. Nice step out. Nice hit. Um, so. Yeah. Did I help that? No, uh, yeah, so it's perfect. So uh, make sure to go check out my How to Hold Tide Pads video on Vimeo. Um, I really like getting JJ's perspective. You know, I think uh, I love the idea of the first pad that comes up is the pad you hit, because I've often been looking for what are more nonverbal ways to communicate what the hitter's supposed to do. And I, I, it never really occurred to me that that's a really clever yeah, way to get that done. But the, the, the other issue is that the, the fighter in a fight, this is to simulate the fight, right? Range and timing. Um, and if I'm telling you what to throw, you're preconceiving the shots you're throwing before you throw them and not reacting to the openings, openings in front of you. So if I start something and I think I'm going to throw a jab cross, the opening might present itself differently. And I might end up jab hook or jab roundhouse or something, right? Maybe I throw the jab and he his hands up in a heart, so I go into the ribs or something like that. You know, or I throw a cross to the body and he goes, whoa, so I throw a high on it, you know? Whatever's going to happen there. Um, or he's constantly flat-footed, so when I throw, he hunkers down, so I just take the low kick because he's never going to block it. But I intended to throw the cross ahead of time, but it just wasn't there. So when you're doing the pad holding that way, it's constantly showing you the opening so you can react to it. And you'll get the pad holder that is used to the other way, and you'll throw it, and they'll miss it. The way wait, do that again. It's like, no, don't redo. It's not about that you didn't get that combination, right? You're just off-time here. You have to pick it up quicker next time. All right, so Stockade Muay Thai here in Uptown Kingston. Uh, check it out, uh, wonderful uh, training space, technical instruction. So uh, thank you very much. And we'll see you next time. We have this Royal Kick Legend here at Stockade Muay Thai. Keep your chin down, elevate your striking.